Hi guys, it's Sasha, and today it definitely feels like fall outside today. It's really, really cold and really windy. I have my hoodie on, and as you guys know, when fall comes around, that means that both Lush Cosmetics and Fortune Cookie Soap start to come out with both their Halloween and Christmas line launches. So definitely a lot of people get really excited about that, as myself, and I went shopping uh, this weekend and did a really big damage on my wallet from Deathly Lush Cosmetics. As you guys can see, I have two really big bags. Um, both of these have their Halloween and Christmas line uh, launches, so I'm definitely excited to show you guys all of the products that I purchased within the haul. And um, I also ordered from Fortune Cookie Soap a little bit of their uh, mini Halloween collection line they came out with as well. So I have a lot of products to show you guys about. And um, I don't want to ramble on because it will probably be an hour long video if I kept doing that. Um, but I will say, since this is a haul video, I'll just be showing you guys the different products and what they look like. Um, if you are interested in figuring out what they smell like or you want to hear uh, further details about what I think about the products, leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys about that. Um, so... With that said, let's just get into seeing what I purchased within so the So the first place I'm going to start off with is Lush Cosmetics. I think that's what most people are really excited about and absolutely love and seeing the new Halloween and Christmas line items. So I'm going to start with the biggest items that um, I purchased. I'm just going to kind of go Cosmetics. through uh, whatever the Halloween bag has in here. And as I pull them out, show you guys what's in here. So the first thing that I have is the Wizard Bubble Bar. Now this is actually what I was most excited about. Um, when I actually seen the Halloween line and I am a really, really big sucker for anything with eyes. So if you guys have seen the, um, Christmas penguin bubble bar or the bunny that came out during the Easter collection, I absolutely love anything that has eyes on it. So it's definitely a sucker for this and really excited about this particular product. So the wizard bubble bar is really, really cute. You can see it has the Merlin hat look around it in purple with the big bright yellow star. You have the two eyes and what looks like the white here which can be sort of like his beard all the way around. And as you can see it's a really nice a vibrant purple color. Um, there are a couple stars within here as you can see here and down here. Um, so I'm really curious to see if this is actually going to have um, these types of stars kind of spread within the bath when it's actually being used. Um, there are, there is a couple, as you can see, um, glitter spaces within here. Um, I mentioned this in probably almost all of my videos. I tend to have um, an issue with uh, iridescence or glitters within products. Um, but I tend to try them at least once because my skin's really weird. Sometimes it'll like it, sometimes it won't. So we'll see about this particular product. But um, overall, I think it's a really cute bubble bar. Um, I love it when Lush actually comes out with new bubble bars because they tend to spend a lot of time on their bath bombs um, rather than their bubble bars. So I get really excited when they come out with a new bubble bar. And um, I can't wait to see what this is like in the bath and see if it's something really fruity, really sweet, and a repurchase. The next item I had purchased within their Halloween collection is one of their bath ballistics. And that is the Northern Lights Bath Ballistic. As you can see, it's shaped in sort of a stick type um, shape. And it has the same sort of voluptuous, uh, vibrant purple as the Wizard Bubble Bar. Um, you can see it's got a light purple type color on both ends and then a sort of a darker type purple in the center. And then it's got really awesome stars. To be honest, what this reminds me of is sort of like when they had the shooting star bath bomb during Christmas last year. Um, when you have it actually fizzling within the water and after it's finished, it's sort of like this type of color water you have with these same exact stars. So I'm curious to see if it actually is going to be the same when you place it within the bath. Now, I haven't done any spoilers and actually looked to see what it is like um, when you place this within the bath. Um, I'm seeing that, if you can see right here, it's showing the blue within here. Um, but I like to be surprised, as maybe you guys are, when you do see the um, actual demo and tutorials I do on my channel. I do like to do these and um, not really see... Uh, what the actual products are um, at first. So this is going to be a first time use. I've never had this product. It's a brand new one, just like the Wizard. And um, I'm really, see really excited to see what this is going to be like when you The next it time that I have purchased um, is a bubble bar. And it is known as the Sparkly Pumpkin Bubble Bar. As you can see, this is absolutely amazing looking. 
and very, very glittery. Once again, I tend to have trouble with glitter, so we'll see how well this works um, on the skin. But as you can see, it's already all over my fingers just by touching it. Um, so I'm going to show you guys this really quick before it gets all over my carpet. Um, but overall, it's a bright orange pumpkin. It's got a cinnamon stick on top. And um, it's got a lot of gold glitter all the way around it. This is something I'm really excited about using. I'll probably use this more towards Halloween, if not on actual Halloween, because it's just an overall sparkly Halloween fall type look. So I definitely love this. It's really awesome. But I would take caution um, when seeing this. I thought for sure that this particular product was going to smell like pumpkin because it's shaped like a pumpkin. But it's actually not. There's actually no hints of pumpkin within it. So I was a little bit surprised that they would create a pumpkin type product with no pumpkin scent. Um, so if you guys are looking for pumpkin scents, this is not the product that has it in it. But it does smell really nice. So I'm um, very sort of like a, a lightly sweet, a lightly floral type scent. But overall, it smells really nice. And I'm excited to see what this looks like. And Last time I actually bath. purchased um, within the Halloween line is the Sparkler Bath Ballistic. Now, I unfortunately was kind of already shown what this looked like inside the actual um, store. So I know what this is actually going to look like. Uh, when we do place them in the bath. But after seeing it, I could not pass it up and not purchase it. So this is what it looks like. It's just a bright, sort of a plain neon yellow stick all the way around. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of hints of looks like darker type spots here. They're a little bit like a brownish type color. Um, but basically with this stick, a lot of people were looking at this like, it's so basic. It doesn't look as pretty as the... Um, Northern Lights bubble bar I showed you that, or bubble bar, the Northern Lights uh, bath ballistic that was purple I showed you guys, it looks plain. However, when this gets inside the actual um, tub, it creates an amazing bath water and the way that it looks, it, you would not believe that's what this actually does. I just broke my bath ballistic. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, you guys can actually see within here what it does look like. These are really, really soft and easy to break, so I would be very cautious when you are um, handling these type products. So as, because as you guys see, mine just completely broke. So um, overall, this is a really awesome product. Um, I definitely love the way that it looked. It creates a really awesome bath water, very sparkly. So now that I'm very I have actually cleaned that up a little bit off my carpet, um, I am really excited to see what this is going to be like. Unfortunately, when I do the demo for you guys, it is going to be a little bit broken. Uh, so you won't see the full bar go in at once. It'll be the um, bath ballistic and the little crumbled pieces up at the same time. So I hope that's okay. Um, I wasn't aware that they were going to be really uh, soft like that. So I would be really cautious when you do order them or when you do actual, um, actually touch them and handle them to be really careful because mine went everywhere, as you guys seen, all over the place. So um, I do love that product. I love the way that it looked, and it's definitely going to be really exciting to show you Now, guys when I actually purchased these particular items for the Halloween collection, they had gave me a sample that they thought would go really well with the products I had purchased. And that, as you guys can see within here, is the figs and leaves soap. Um, this pro this uh, package right here is mine. I actually place all of my soap samples and anything that I get within these. Um, if you uh, are looking for something to store your actual soaps within and get like um, and cut up your bar soaps into um, more proportional pieces for you to be able to use, I definitely recommend these. They are called the Portion Pack Control um, Ziploc bags. Definitely check these out because these are my all-time favorite to be able to use for my, for my bath products and definitely my soap pieces. So I would definitely check these out because they're very useful. Um, but what they give me was figs and leaves. That's what they wrote on the actual thing. And this is what the bar soap looks like. It's sort of a brown and um, sort of a yellowish type color. Really sort of like an oatmeal cookie, I would say, type look. And it's got a lot of darker spots all the way in it. It definitely does smell like um, leaves itself. 
Um, it smells like a nature type smell. It's not really something I'm interested in, but they thought it'd go really well with the products I purchased because it's fall time and I got a lot of Halloween type scents and they definitely recommended to use this with the uh, sparkly pumpkin. So um, I'll try the soap. I'm not a real, really big fan of nature or florals. And as you guys know, I really like the sweet and bakery type scents, but I'll try it. Um, it was a free sample. So we'll see how well uh, this works. And I showed and you guys really the Halloween like items for Lush. We are now on to the Christmas items. So my number one thing when it comes time for Christmas, when Lush comes out, um, although I'm not happy that they stick parabens within this particular product, which I wish that they didn't stick that within there, um, but I definitely have to purchase because it is a favorite of mine, and that is the Snow Fairy Body Wash. As you can see, I picked up the biggest size possible. Um, I'm hoping this actually lasts me throughout the entire year to kind of get my Snow Fairy fixed, um, but I absolutely love this. This is what it looks like. It's got, it's a bright pink um, colored body wash and within the label it's bright pink, says Snow Fairy, which is the scent, and it has the cute stars um, as uh, all around it for the label. And on the back you can see that it has the uh, ingredients that they make out with it. Somewhere within here, as you can see, is the paraben. I don't understand why I think that they should remove this from their products for them to consider themselves a really natural and safe and be, really take pride in their actual products. I think they should take that out of their products, um, anything that has parabens. I think most of their products don't have any parabens, but all of their shower gels do, which is really disappointing. And the reason why I don't tend to purchase a lot of their other ones, such as Happy Hippie or um, dirty shower gel. Those are things that I'm really interested in, but because there's parabens in it, I tend to stay away from it. But Snow Fairy only comes once a year, so I definitely um, take advantage of getting at least one bottle of it, and I'll use it sparingly, um, but I'm not happy that there is parabens in it. So if you guys work for Lush and you're watching this video, definitely reach out to your company and tell them to remove the parabens because that would make this so much better, and I'll be purchasing tons of body wash from you guys if you would do that. Um, but I did purchase this. Um, there are a couple other shower gels that they have that's brand new there, but I didn't purchase it because Snow so the Fairy's first my actual bath product that I purchased from the Christmas line is known as the Holly Go Lightly Bubble Bar. Now I was a little surprised about the price of this being ten ninety five, um, but it's around the same same uh, size as the um, Comforter Bubble Bar, so I'm assuming that's why they call it that. They actually um, priced it as ten ninety five. So this is what the Holly Go Lightly looks like. It's a really, really pretty um, silver glittery all the way around it. Once again, I don't know if I can use it since there's a lot of glitter on it, but I like to try things at least once, especially during the Christmas time. How can you not purchase something during the Christmas time? Um, so I know a lot of people purchase a lot of these. I'm not sure if this is my all-time favorite scent. It's very spicy, cinnamon-y cinnamon type scent, so I'm not sure if I really, really like it, but this is what it looks like. It's got the holly wreath on it, the little berries on it, um, silver all the way around. As you can see, it looks like um, some of the silver came off, and it looks like it's going to be green type of bath water. Um, but overall, it's a really, really nice bubble bar. Very, very pretty. And I'm really interested to see what this is like. Once again, I love it when they come out with bubble bars. Um, I don't tend to think that they come out with lots of bubble bars. They tend to um, put their focus on a lot of their bath ballistics and bath bombs. So I get really excited when they come out with new ones. So I'm really excited to see what this is going to be look looking like inside the bath and um, how well um, of a surprise it's actually going to do within there. If it's going to be really glittery, if it's going to be... Um, a bright green bath. It's just really exciting to get new products and see what it's like. So um, I'm excited to see what this is like and if I'm definitely going to like it when it's placed The next item I purchased is another bubble bar, but this one is an actual, actually a returner from last year, and that is the Christmas Ping One Bubble Bar. I absolutely love this bubble bar. He is so cute. I, this, as I mentioned before, I'm a sucker with anything for eyes, so I love this. Um, it's it's a fairly um, smaller size bubble bar. It's not as big as the Comforter um, bubble bar or the Holly Go Lightly I just showed you. It's sort of like a standard size that they have um, type bubble bar. But overall, it's really cute. It's a penguin shape. You can see his little eyes, his orange nose. His little belly has like a yellow color on it. And then you can see the white 
and the front and on the back is just plain blue. Some of the yellow from the uh, other little penguins' bellies are on uh, my actual bubble bar, but overall it's just a really cute bubble bar. I absolutely love it. Um, I loved it last year. It's really fun. I actually purchased about two or three of these last year, so um, I really love it. It's really cute, and I can't wait to use this in the bath again. It's just a really fun overall uh, bubble bath. It makes you really happy when you use this product when you see it, so that's why the next item I purchased in the Christmas collection is a new product and that a lot of people I see are really um, excited about as well and that is known as the Christmas Hedgehog. Um, as you guys see it's really really cute with its little eyes and his little pearl uh, blue nose and he is sort of like a mint a uh, light mint bluish green type color all the way around so this Hopefully you guys can see that really well. Really well. Um, it's very glittery all the way around. Um, so I'm not sure if I can use it, but I'm definitely going to try. And how can you not pass this up of how cute it actually is? Um, definitely love this product um, just by the look of it. It's just a really cute overall bubble bar. It's very soft. Um, you would think it's sort of like a bath... Uh, bath melt or a, a lotion bar because that's sort of like the feel that it has so I don't know what they made out of it to create this but it's something um, really different than what they usually do with their bubble bars so I'm excited to see what this is like and hopefully I really do like it because I'll definitely be purchasing some more um, if it is a keeper because of how cute it is. This is one of those ones just like the Christmas penguin bubble bar and hopefully the wizard bubble bar I showed you. It's just some one of those really happy products that you can use. It makes you feel really good when you The uh, next time I purchase is actually a returner um, except they actually changed the scent of this particular product and that is the Father Christmas Bath Bomb. Now this is a fairly large bath bomb and as you can see it's got Santa's face on the front to be honest, he looks a little bit creepy, um, but um, I wouldn't be too scared of it because it's actually a really, really nice scent. Um, before it actually used to be a um, sort of a Satsuma and sort of like a Pez candy is what it reminded me of type scent. But this time, they actually changed the scent and that is to the Snow Fairy scent. It smells exactly like Snow Fairy. And I am sure a lot of people are going to be really excited about that. Because Snow Fairy is a really popular type scent um, for Lush. And now that they changed this to smell like that, I think that's going to be pretty amazing. Um, I definitely liked this before. I had a couple of these um, last year. I don't think the year before they had it. So this was definitely something new last year. And it creates a really amazing bath. It's sort of like a dark um, green type water with red sparkles. Um, all throughout it. It was a very festive and a very Christmas type uh, bath bomb. So if you're looking for something to use sort of like on Christmas Eve or like on Christmas Day as a special bath bomb, I definitely would recommend this because it's very festive and puts you definitely in the spirit. So um, it's just an overall sort of a light, light, very pale red color with um, a white sand on the front. Um, and I definitely love the fact that they changed it to Snow Fairy. So I have a feeling I'll probably be purchasing another one of these after I use it. Um, Cause I love anything that comes in the Snow Fairy scent since that's one of my all time favorite scents from Lush. So I'm definitely excited to try this and see if it does do the same effects as Sticking it did Sticking with the candy year. type scents, um, as I've been mentioning before, one of the uh, returners for this particular Christmas that came out last year and I think even the year before that is the Candy Mountain Bubble Bar. It's very pretty. It is a white and pink swirl bubble bar. Um, it is just just a really fun, girly, feminine type bubble bar product. It has some iridescent glitter uh, all around it. And it's also in the inside. They fill it in the inside. Um, I think I've seen them uh, make it in one of their videos. They open it up and fill it with glitter inside and then pat it in. Um, the bottom to seal it down the bottom so the, what you see here is not the only glitter that you get um, but surprisingly enough when I've used it now and when I've used it before in the past two years I haven't had an issue with this particular product with the iridescent glitter so whatever they use in here they should use in all of their other products because I don't tend to have any type of allergic reaction with that um, but I absolutely love this product. It smells really sweet, very girly, very feminine. Definitely a, a Snow Fairy scent once again. And I absolutely love it. 
Um, definitely a favorite, and I can't wait to use this Next product. Next product is well. another returner. This has been here since the beginning of time when Lush was created, and that is the Christmas Eve bubble bar. Um, I use this bubble bar every year since I've been using Lush for on exactly Christmas Eve. Uh, it's basically just a tradition. Um, I think most people probably tend to do that as well. It's a lavender-based one. Um, but it's very calming and something that I really, really like. To be honest, it's, it's really surprising to me that I really like it. It's just a calming bubble bath. Um, and it's really nice to use, especially on Christmas Eve night before you go to bed and wake up on Christmas, Christmas morning. So um, as you can see, it's got the yellow moon on the outer edging. And then you have sort of a bluish, purplish indigo type color um, on this particular side. And you have the bottom here for the indigo and then the uh, yellow moon as well. Um, it's just a really nice bubble bar. I absolutely love it. I purchase one every year just to use on Christmas Eve itself and it smells, it smells really nice, very calming and relaxing. Um, I really do like this product even though I'm a sweet bakery scent type person. This is a very calming and soothing type scent so um, I purchase one every year for Christmas Eve and um, I'll be saving this, this product for is Christmas actually well. a brand new product that has come out and it is known as the Dashing Santa Bath Ballistic and this is what it looks like. It's a really cute Santa shape. It looks like he's um, dashing, uh, sort of running and um, I think he's holding something. I'm not sure what this is right here. Maybe it's a present. I'm not technically sure. Um, but it looks like he's running. You can see his feet down at the bottom. Um, on the back, it's just plain, no type of design, so it's only on the front. And this particular um, bath ballistic is called the Dashing Santa because supposedly it goes in the bath water and um, when you lay it flat, it'll like supposedly go through like this and start moving to look like he's actually dashing with inside of your bath. So I think that's going to be really interesting to see what it does and if it actually does work. The next item I got is something I'm super, super excited to try and that's because I am a huge snow fairy. Uh, snow fairy. I mean, that is because I am a huge snow cake fan. Um, and that is the Snow Angel Bath Bomb slash Bath Melt. And this is what it looks like. It's basically um, in an angel type shape. You see the whites that represent the snow angel. And then down at the bottom, you have a lot of the gold glittery um, base for the actual you snow can angel. See. Um, so um, here, it actually does represent the snow cake soap that I actually have out, which is one of my all time favorite soaps. And unfortunately, I didn't purchase any, but that's because it's my round one of actually purchasing from Lush for the holiday season. Um, but here it shows you sort of the white piece of the soap that they have, and here is the gold that's usually um, dusted across the top of the actual uh, snow cake soap. So it definitely represents snow cake. Has the same amazing marzipan scent. Love it. It's exactly like snow cake. Smells amazing. Absolutely love it. I cannot wait to see if this actually works a lot like the uh, Melting Snowman. He actually, they actually changed his scent last year and I was so disappointed. It's more of a cinnamon type scent rather than the marzipan snow cake scent. Um, so I tend to not purchase that anymore because I'm not a big fan of that. Um, so I'm hoping it's a lot like this and makes it really softer than the bath water. I'm just so excited they came out with another snow cake type scent. Um, so we'll see how well this is in the bath, and I hope that it's really, really nice. It makes the skin really, really soft, because if it does, I'll definitely be purchasing a couple of these to save uh, throughout the year. Um, definitely during spring and summer to have that really silky, smooth feel on the legs after shaving. Um, I think that would be really nice. So I can't wait to see what this is like, and it's going to be just as good and good smelling and works really well. Um, as the, the snow cake soap The itself. next item I purchased is something really, really cute and brand new for this year. And that is the Butter Bear Bath Bomb. As you can see, it's a really, really cute bear-shaped bath bomb. Or I guess it's a bath ballistic since it's not shaped in a circle like a bomb. So I'm going to guess this is a bath ballistic. Um, but it is shaped like a bear. It's got his cute little big belly right here. You can see his little ears, his eyes, and his nose right here. Um, overall, it's just a plain white with cocoa butter specks within here. Um, all the way around and as you guys have guessed yes it is exactly in the butterball scent which is a cocoa and shea butter type scent very sweet candy nice type scent it's definitely something i'm probably going to really love and purchase probably a quite a few more of these um to save 
for the um, the coming year um, so that I can have something like this um, throughout the year. I think last year it was a snowman that they had that was like this and he had a little red scarf and an orange nose. I purchased a at least four of those to save uh, throughout the year and I used them um, every couple of months. Months I used one of those to be able to um, kind of have that nice silky soft cocoa and shea butter feel because it works really good on the skin and moisturizes really well. So I have a feeling this is going to be just like that since it's the same exact so thing. So there were other types shape. of products that are available within the Christmas line. However, my store didn't have all of them available. So um, there are things such as the little drum that they have out, which is a reusable bubble wand. They didn't have that. Or the shooting star, the brand new one they came out with this year. Um, wasn't there. I think there was a couple other ones that weren't there as well, but um, those I, could, I couldn't get and I'll probably get those on my round two as well as with all of my bar soaps and I'll be able to show you guys in my next haul um, when I go there because I already spent quite a few, uh, quite a lot of money on the actual products I already showed you guys today so far. Um, so they didn't have any of those available and I'll probably be getting that on my round two when I go there um, during the next um, lush shopping adventure that I go on. However, I do have one more product, and this is the last one I actually purchased from the Christmas collection, and it's probably one of my all-time favorites that they came out with, and that is the Luxury Lush Pud. It is one of the prettiest bath bombs I have ever seen. I love that they changed this color. It used to be sort of like a mold wine type color, um, and now it's a hot pink type color, and it has the cute um, confetti dots all the way around it, as you can see. Um, you got green dot, blue dot, and yellow, and an orange on it. And on top, you have the little holly reef and a little white, um, sort of like a really creamy white type look on top. Um, this is supposed to represent type, some type of like pudding um, dessert that they have in the UK. Um, I'm not sure if we have this here. If we do, I don't eat it, but it smells really nice. It reminds me of the Twilight um, bath bomb, if you guys have had that. Um, that's kind of what this reminds me of, so, um, which I love that bath bomb. I love the shower gel when they came out with it last year, and it smells really, really nice. It's very strong, but it smells really sweet and really nice, so this is my one of my all-time favorites. Definitely last year, I bought a couple of these and loved it, and um, I'm definitely probably going to love it now, especially with the hot pink that they ended up changing it to, so I can't wait to use this in the bath and see if it's definitely the same as it was uh, the year before, and um, I'm sure it will be amazing because it already looks amazing and it creates um, an awesome bath water and bath effect as it did last year. So we'll see if it's the same, and um, I'm hoping it definitely is because it smells amazing, looks amazing, and I'm and loving this. And before I actually pink. left and purchased all of these type products, um, I had gotten two samples with my um, purchase, and the first one is one of their new soaps that they had, and that is in the baked Alaska soap. Once again, I stuck it within um, one of the portion control bags that I have at home. And here is the um, actual label and what it actually smells like here. Um, it's called the Baked Alaska Soap. And as you can see, it's a really, really pretty um, multicolored type soap all the way around. You can see the green, blue, yellow, and pink. And it's actually a really awesome um a big ball is basically what it's shaped in a type soap it's got like a white powder all the way around it and then when you cut it in half this is what it looks like all in the inside um, if you guys are a fan of the snow globe scent um, if you guys know notice that they didn't have that come back out that's because snow globe has been reborn into the base. last sample Alaska item soap. that I had gotten with the Christmas items I had purchased was a shower gel um, body wash that they actually had, and it's one of their new ones that they came out for Christmas. Um, I know I mentioned that um, I'm not happy about the parabens, but I went ahead and got a little bit of a sample to see if I really did like it, and that is in the So White Shower Gel, which unfortunately is the one that has more than one paraben within it, um, which does not make me happy, um, but they were interested in me actually trying this and asked if I really like the So White Bath Bomb, and I told them yes, and so they said, why not try the So White Shower Gel? And when people want to give you free samples, um, who is to complain? So I definitely said go ahead and give me a free sample for that as well. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's a white, um, really liquidy type. Um, ooh, it's running down a bit. Um, 
body wash. It doesn't have, it has a lot of sparkle that I can see within it, within it, so it's not just a plain white look. It definitely has sparkles within it, but it definitely does smell like the bath bomb. In the store, when I actually smelled it, it smelled really gross. It smelled like a lot of people had touched it and it had a whole bunch of different scents. So kind of like um, really strong BO. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It kind of smelled really, really um, high BO, really disgusting smell. But now that I smell it in here after getting the product away from the bottle that everybody touched, it smells really, really nice. It smells just like the bath bomb. And it smells really fresh. That is and everything smells like an that apple. I purchased during the Halloween and the Christmas line launch at Lush, um, and all the products that they had available and the samples that I had gotten. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys, as I mentioned earlier in this video, what I had gotten in the Fortune Cookie Soap uh, Halloween launch that I just recently came out with. Now, if you aren't familiar, Fortune Cookie Soap just came out with their um, Halloween mini collection, which is called Third Times the Charm, and that is based off of the theme of Beetlejuice, which is Tim Burton's 1988 film. Um, they also had a Beetlejuice, like, cartoon when I was younger. I absolutely loved that. I have the whole series DVD of that now. I am a huge fan of Beetlejuice, have been since I've been little, so I was definitely excited that they came out with a Beetlejuice theme so for the their Halloween collection. So the I had ordered at Fortune Cookie Soap is probably one of their most known products that they are known for, which is their Fortune Cookie Shaped Type Bar Soaps. And that is in the scent Strange and Unusual. So as you see here, you have Fortune Cookie Soap. It tells you what the product is. It's an actual Fortune Cookie Soap. And it shows the scent Strange and Unusual. Now, if you guys are Beetlejuice fans, you would know that Lydia says, I myself am strange and unusual. So, of course, this is the Lydia Soap. So I had to definitely get it. And this is what it looks like. It is a bright red type color on the left and a bright right, a bright white sad um, color on the right. And it's got like a splash drizzle of uh, black on the actual product um, front itself. You can see a little bit of it on the edging and um, none on the actual back. So it's just splattered on the front. And I'm kind of looking at this sort of like uh, what her... Um, rose uh, her rose bouquet and the red dress that she wore um during the end with beetlejuice sorry if you haven't watched this big spoiler alert um but when she wears her the red wedding dress um with beetlejuice that's kind of what this reminds me of um so i think that's really awesome and really neat and just like all the rest of them in the inside there is a fortune um that you're given and I think with all of the uh, themed ones they all have the same uh, fortune in the inside that's not different like you would get in the original ones and the one that this one got it says let's turn on the juice and see what shakes loose so that's what it actually says um, for my fortune within um, my uh, strange and unusual The next product I ordered scent. is another soap type product except this time it's one of their really large bar soaps and that is in the It's Showtime type scent. So this is what it looked like when I received the product. As you can see, it's got their actual logo for Third Times the Charm here. It looks very like Beetlejuice, really close. It looks really amazing. And it says Third Times the Charm for what the collection is called. And it says It's Showtime for what the actual scent is. And down here it says Bar Soap for what this is actually is. So all the products actually come in these sort of waxy type material. Um, I do recommend after you do receive your products to not leave it here long because these scents do tend to go away if you leave them in there and don't preserve very well. So I would just change it into sort of like a Ziploc bag um, to help preserve your freshness of your actual products. Um, I'm sure you guys already do that, but I thought I'd just mention it just in case. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's a really, really awesome bar soap. Looks really great and as you as if uh, you guys aren't familiar with uh, Beetlejuice, or if you are, you guys would know that it's showtime is what Beetlejuice says. So this here is the Beetlejuice soap. So as you can see, it's a black and white checkered pattern all on the top and the sides. And you can see a little bit of a green, neon green layer here all around the edging. And at the bottom is a bright neon green. Oh my gosh, I think this is a really, really awesome bar soap product. Um, I'm not too sure why they chose a checkered look when Beetlejuice wears a black and white striped suit. Um, I think that would have been more um, appropriate for them to do a black and white striped 
Uh, maybe it was just a little too hard for them to do and they thought it'd be easier to do the blocks. But um, overall, it's a really nice product. It so looks really awesome. So the last thing I awesome. ordered from the actual uh, Third Times of Charm collection is what I was sorely disappointed in when I received. And that is in their whipped cream. As you guys know, the whipped cream is my all-time favorite product from Fortune Cookie Soap. And I actually decided to order the 4 ounce uh, of this actual product. Now, I've only ordered one other 4 ounce of the actual product. And that is in the Summer Collection. I told you guys to lick your lips. Um, it was the mint chocolate chip scent. I absolutely love that and definitely had to get it in the full four ounce. In this one, I'm like, I'm definitely going to love this product. Of course, I'm going to get the four ounce. Supposedly for this particular product, it's supposed to be candy corn and campfire marshmallows. Nothing else. It has nothing such as lovely lavender, jumping juniper berries, or something along the lines of creeping tobacco. There was nothing hidden within there and said within the scent that it was going to smell absolutely disgusting. And as you can tell, I am not happy at all. It smells absolutely disgusting. So let's get on to seeing what this actual product is. This is what it looks like. It has the actual logo for Third Times a Charm, has the Beetlejuice look, just like the um, bar soap I showed you guys the logo. It says Recently Deceased, which is its actual name for the product, and it says Whipped Cream. Recently Deceased, if you guys are a fan of Beetlejuice, you even know that it is the handbook for the recently deceased um, that they have when they go to the particular place and they find out that, hey, I'm deceased, this is my handbook, and God for life. Um, so that's what this is based off of. And I was surprised that, hey, it doesn't smell really rotting bodies and just um, worms and dirt. It actually smells like candy corn and campfire marshmallows. How can you go wrong with that? Unfortunately, after receiving this product, I found that recently deceased is the correct name for the product. In fact, you smell like you are recently deceased. It smells gross. It does not smell like candy corn. There is no sweetness to this product, no toasted marshmallow, no campfire, not even just a woodsy smell to cause this horrific smell. It smells like it, like an old woman. It smells powdery, musky, perf, it's like a, like a thick, like sour perfume. It is so nasty. I don't know what they did to this particular batch or if everyone smells like this, but so it's you guys absolutely have this nasty. Please tell me down below, does your smell like a musky, powdery, old woman scent? Is your smell absolutely disgusting and not like how it's supposed to? Comment down below and let me know because I am sorely disappointed in this. It does not smell like candy corn and marshmallows at all. And I had wasted my money on a full four ounce for this particular product. And it just doesn't smell right. I... I, this just kind of ruined the entire box for me. Although I really like the scents of the other products that I had gotten. It's just this is my all-time favorite. And I was hoping for something that would kind of replace my Halloween Town. Which I wish that they would come back out with. Um, and that's sort of like a really sweet, sticky, bubblegum, powdered sugar, candy cornish type smell. And I was hoping this would kind of hold me off until they had to create your own whipped cream event so I can create the uh, Halloween Town. But unfortunately, this just sorely disappointing. Does not smell like candy corn at all. Um, I would just be cautious and aware if you are interested in ordering this and you see candy corn and uh, marshmallow. It does not smell like that. It smells like an old woman perfumey, sour, musty, So that is everything I had purchased at Lush and Fortune Cookie Soap during their initial Halloween and Christmas line launches. Now, as I mentioned before, there are a couple things within Lush that I didn't get within the Christmas uh, line because they didn't have it available and um, or because I've already spent a lot of money and put a really big dent in my wallet as is. Um, so I definitely will be doing a round two and going to Lush and getting the Christmas items. And Fortune Cookie Soap still hasn't came out with their actual uh, Christmas line. I know around November 2nd or 3rd, they'll be having the Christmas winter box uh, come out. So that unboxing review video will be done really soon when that comes out. And um, towards the end of November is when they actually do the launch and release. So um, I'm really excited about that. And um, I can't wait for them to come out with the new products so I can get the second round, as I'm going to call it, of those type of items. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so we can become fizzy friends. Hit that thumbs up button to let me know you want to see more um, shopping hauls from me on this actual channel. And um, if you do have any questions about any of the products that I showed you guys today, as in more descriptive scents of um, what they actually smell like or anything about the products, put those in the comment box down below. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.